Hey everybody, welcome into Universal Beauty. And today I thought it would be a good day to just kind of show some products. There's been like kind of a buildup. There's been a lot of palettes um, coming out lately, some exciting ones. Some I think I had told you in a previous video that I was really looking forward to. But anyway, I just kind of thought I'd show you a couple of things and that, you know, uh, I've had lately that either thumbs up or thumbs down. Um, so, you know, first of all, you know, sometimes when you're standing in line at either Sephora or Ulta, you know, they've got these racks of like these little testers and minis on the side, uh, like uh, impulse buys. And anyway, I did get this thing. It's called uh, Formula 1006 Draw It All Out Skin Detoxing Peel Mask. This is charcoal and plum. Anyway, it was like $2.99 and I thought, well, you know, I like that draw it all out. Let's let's try. There's something about, for me anyway, a, a peel off mask that I, I like the gratification of that. You know, I like cream masks that you just rinse away as well, but there's just something about a peel off mask that, uh, you know, I do find, uh, I find that gratifying. <laughs> um, sometimes though, with peel off masks, it can be kind of rough when they're peeling off and you really kind of feel like you're getting pulled around. I gotta tell you this stuff here, um, after you leave it on 10 or 15 minutes, it was such an easy off that I, it was really, really nice. So. I think this stuff seemed pretty good. Um, I was happy with that and uh, you know that would prompt me to use it knowing that I'm not going to have that real pulling. So I liked that a lot. That was just an impulse buy on the side. The same with the um, this little Too Faced uh, Lip Injection Extreme. Ooh, lighting is blowing it out. Um, gosh, what can I do? Hmm. Um, there, I think that kind of shows you a little bit. Anyway, normally I forget how much these are, but I was reading in the reviews, some people, this really stings their lips too much because it's the extreme version. They've got a regular lip injection as well, but I wanted to try this and I think this one was like it was 10 as opposed to, I don't know what they normally are, 20 something. So um, I tried it and uh, it doesn't bother me too much. I kind of liked it. I like a little bit of that stinging feeling. Anyway, that was good. Um, did I get any more impulse buys? Uh, no, not really. Okay, well, you know, there's like these small, um, here's the, they're, they're like luxury samples, but you know, you pay a lot less for them than you would. It just gives you a chance to try it. This is the Hangover RX 3-in-1 um, spray from Too Faced that is, uh, you know, after you put your makeup on, it just helps you set it. So if you wanted to try that out, that's there as well. Um, they gave me a sample of this Tarte um, found, found Sealer. I guess it's a combination foundation and concealer. Now the one that they gave me is in the color uh, medium tan honey. I don't know if that's going to really work out on me or not, but um, I will try it and uh, let you know. That was just the sample that they gave me. Okay, so now to the meat of the order, the stuff that I've been buying that, uh, you know, I'm either happy or sad about. The first thing was this Tutti Frutti Sparkling Pineapple Palette from Too Faced. Gosh, what is with the light? There, can you see that pretty much? Okay, so this retails for $34. <clears throat> I think that I got it on sale um, on the site. Maybe it was like either 30 or something like that. Anyway, it's... Uh, these real pretty colors of uh, golden pineapple, a few mattes, a few shimmers. And um, the thing, the, the color here, this it, it's reading real kind of greeny gold here, but it's almost one of those duotone um, shadows. It's really, really pretty. What's the name of it actually? They, they named these shades. Let me see, it's the third from the bottom that went, well, I think it's called Island Queen. But anyway, that's pretty nice. This is a nice little palette going forward. You can do a lot of looks with this. It's really got these real pretty um, golds and shimmers. And as always, if you just really feel like, you know, you don't know what you're doing, um, Too Faced always gives you these little pamphlets and they give you examples of these eye looks that you can achieve using this. So that's pretty helpful if you feel like you need it. There, it's like, a, you know, five different ways you can go. Um, it smells like pineapples, which is always kind of a fun thing that they do as well. Uh, anyway, yeah, I would say that, uh, you know, this will take you far and um, 
a lot of people normally do use they look good I like those warm tones the browns and the golds um boy this all this packaging is really just not going well in the light today okay let's uh, move on to the urban decay naked honey which I did tell you guys I've been looking forward to for a long time now I've only got to play around with this um, like once or twice and there's so much more to explore isn't that pretty it's just like a gorgeous bit of packaging that they've done here and the uh, color story is all these golden honey colors I guess that uh, shows you that we're moving into fall and winter um, I think that a lot of skin tones will look great in this now my friend Kelly who's a uh, dark eyes and uh, Italian, like uh, uh, kind of a tan complexion. She was a little worried about purchasing this because she wasn't sure if that was gonna work out on her. But this this uh, color here, this is so, so pretty. I think that would be great for the brown eyed girls. Just stunning, it's called Queen. And um, you know, you've got other things to work around with that, like this color drip. It's uh, reading a little bit light on uh, camera here, but it's got this kind of cinnamon color. Um, there's shimmers and mattes in here, which I always love when they give us that so we can transition those things. Anyway, I'm looking forward to um, working with this a little bit more. This is uh, $49 for that one. So, but that's pretty typical for the Urban Decay palettes, all of those. Um, another one, oh, okay, this is the uh, Kevin Aquan Emphasize Eye Design Palette. And uh, this is pretty great. This one is how much was this 46 for this one it comes small and compact beautiful packaging for Kevin Aquan it's got that purple that fades down to a uh, dark all the packaging for the Kevin Aquan stuff it's so great and uh, this one opens out and it looks like ooh, let me do that looks like this okay so there's like four different kinds of these palettes that you can go for this is kind of the plum one I love it because across the mirror you probably can't see that but it in writing across it has the Kevin Aquan slogan that beauty belongs to the brave so that's kind of a, a nice little thing that comes up in the mirror anyway you get five shades of shadow and then this right here is a let me see the official thing that they call this is the cream foil eyeshadow. So what you can do with this is you can use it on its own or you can use it on your lid and then go over it with these uh, powders. This is, it's really, really beautiful. And um, let me back away over here to show you. See this? So that comes down on your eye first and then that just like blends out for you. However far and wide you wanna blend that down and this one in this particular palette is kind of a rose gold. There you go. And then your shadow would go over the top of that. And you can, uh, like I say, I even, you know, use it a little bit in the middle of my bottom lip because I like to do that. But anyway, uh, Kevin Aquan is uh, one of these luxury brands. And see that just, that is a real pretty rose gold. Gosh, you can use that on its own if you want to. Um, not just necessarily to, um, play around with color with the other five shades that they give you um but luxury brands now not everybody wants to run out and buy those and so the things that i'm gonna like kind of tell you about today uh i i don't expect everybody's gonna want to go out and run and grab these things because um a lot of people aren't you know wanting to put like tons of money into makeup this is just letting you know if you've ever wondered about these things what you can get for example i think what we can start with is um you, you all know that i love my boy edward bess and uh that is a luxury brand for sure now they have this complexion correcting mousse foundation it comes like this and it comes with a brush so that you can use these things um together um now i noticed that there's like not really a great shade range it kind of it's limited to let's see it goes fair light medium tan and deep now that's only five um it kind of covers uh, across the board but again these things they're expensive you know this foundation is 86 dollars and uh, a lot of times they are 
out of the medium because that's kind of you know universal a lot of people will use that I have one in light and one in tan and I like to mix the two together to kind of custom create what I need now am I saying you should go out and spend 173 bucks on a couple of foundations no um, now listen I know that everybody isn't going to want to even spend $86 for a foundation I'm just again letting you know what it's like this is a, a really pretty mousse formulation it looks like this but it's so light a little of this goes a long long way um and you can you can do it really full coverage if you're if you want that and you know me i only like to do a very light coverage i like to just make sure that i'm uh color correcting and that's what this does which is like a, a really nice thing and i find that using the brush on this rather than a blending tool sponge the brush is really great because you barely need any and you can work it in to your complexion and uh, it's so light on your face you don't even feel it it's a uh, very light and airy so I do love that about it and um, if you you know it, it's uh, got these um, marine botanicals from the Black Sea which is a lot of Edward best skincare is based around that so it includes that um, it's maybe not everybody's gonna run out and get that but again I'm just letting you know this is there and it's great um, I'm hoping at some point that he will increase the shade range now Edward Bess is still a privately owned company like for example um, Too Faced uh, is owned by Estee Lauder so there's like a lot of big corporate bucks around that that they can do a lot of things um, Anyway, Edward Best, still privately owned, he makes the decisions and the call about everything that happens there. And, you know, uh, I think that the philosophy with him has always been, my name's on it, it better be good. Now this is like a, a very high-end luxury brand and the women that are attracted to this, they can buy anything they want, they've seen it all, they've, they've been there, done that. So in order to keep coming back as a faithful fan base, you know this stuff has to be good. Just saying, that's where that's at. Now. The other uh, luxury brand I love is Kevin Aquan, and uh, Kevin Aquan's got this foundation balm that looks really interesting to me, and it goes for $52. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm looking forward to trying that. Um, so that would be, you know, the back and forth on that. Um, the concealer, the one that I have picked up, this is the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer, and it comes in the box looking like this. Okay. This stuff is really, really great. It comes in this pot that's like, you know, it says Kevin Aquan with the typical packaging. Okay, now this retails for $48 and it takes the slightest dab. And then again with a foundation brush. Now this is the uh, Edward Best one that I use because Edward has a uh, product similar to this. And the lightest touch and then just feathering it underneath and, and you know spend a lot of time blending and it really really is great because I tend to have like a discoloration under my eyes and uh, oh you guys have even seen it on camera before it's uh, this stuff is great and what I love about it is you don't have to powder it down when you're done now a lot of times for over 40 you've got those like little kind of creases where stuff can go in there and um, settle you don't want that so a lot of times people will try to powder it down like right after they use um any kind of you know moisture uh with, with their their concealer and it tends to then just crack everything it doesn't look good but this stuff really great now the one that edward has let me see what did i do with that okay the edward bess this one has also got black sea botanicals in it and edwards is $58 okay so $10 difference between Kevin Aquan and uh, Edward Bess it's kind of the same sort of formula and uh, it, this I find that that is a, again really great you just use the brush that uh, Edwards comes with the brush so that is maybe another reason why you get the um, $10 extra because you're paying for the brush now you can get a Kevin Aquan brush which I did, and um, do I remember how much? No, I'm so sorry, what, um, I don't have it. Okay, so it is the Dual Concealer Brush, Duet Concealer Brush. Okay, comes in a packaging like this, and with Kevin's, okay, so for example, Edwards is the thick, wide 
but thin on the side, but rounded top. That's the way that you get it with Edward Best. With uh, Kevin, um, the concealer brush that you can get, you, I think it, it, you gotta get this separate. Um, and it's a dual ended one. So you have one end that you can pick up the product. See, it's very thin on the side, a little rounded top. You pick up the product with that and you can place it. And then on the other side, you've got this fan, fan brush where you can kind of bl blend it out, okay, and do what you have to do. So either way, I guess that's just a personal preference how you want to do things. Um, but that there, there's the cost difference as well, okay? Uh, then the next thing up, um, we're just uh, kind of talking about bronzers. Um, Edward Best, this is uh, the Golden Hour Mousse Bronzer. This is a different kind of bronzer because usually bronzers come in powder form. You guys, I think you know that my favorite is that Too Faced um, Chocolate Soleil that comes in this compact. Okay, I love this stuff. And uh, you know, you've, you've got a nice uh, compact of product there. This retails for $30, okay? Now, this is a different kind of thing because this is that mousse bronzer from Edward. This is $64. And um, the way that it is, it comes and it's got, again, it's this light whipped mousse kind of uh, product, but it's, it's really, really pretty. And the idea of this is, again, you just take a little bit and it gives you like this warm sunlit kind of a glow. Um, like, you know, just when the sun's going down kind of a thing, it's got a, a shimmer on it. But see, it's this gold, goldeny kind of real pretty. It's subtle, you know? And again, it doesn't feel like anything's on your face. That's what I have on today. So you can see what it looks like. It's just like a glowing kind of, uh, oh, I don't know, right before sunset, that golden hour. I guess that's why it's named so. Uh, anyway, this will last you the rest of your natural life. There's so much, it goes a long way. And uh, again, but that's that's the choice. Are you, you know, of spending, what did I say that was? 64 or 30. I love both of these. So, you know, again, a matter of taste, you just kind of, got to go with what you know you you feel like you want to do um then let's see this is the kevin aquan the contour book volume two this is the art of sculpting and defining it comes like this and it's a little book packaging kevin it, this is kind of nice it's sort of a snake skin kind of embossed sort of thing it's a nice little book you open it up it's got directions if you need help with where to contour and what colors to use where um, you sculpt you highlight you brighten you accentuate define and shape this has a nice mirror here um, and then you've got cream contours and let's see okay this is a sculpting cream at the top this is a candlelight cream on this side then you've got the powders sculpting powder candlelight powder you've got brighten starlight cool tan and ruddy earth okay so then all the stuff in the little book portion of this can really help you to know where to put what so this retails for what was it kev Contour book, 65 for this, okay? And um, I also have that on today. I'd give it a go. So, uh, let's see, what else did I pick up? This is Smashbox, the new Gla Gloss Angeles. They have these different glosses. I picked up the one, it's called Surf Bunny. And um, I don't know, I haven't tried it really, so let's see. It is in the pink tones that I really like. It feels pretty good, you know. I just thought that uh, I wanted to give that a try. I like Smashbox. It's a good brand, good solid brand. Um, all right. Oh, here's another thing that was a cool purchase. All right, this. I got this at Target, actually, and this is called Bad Baby Shampoo Pen. So it comes kind of like this, and you've got this dry shampoo in what looks like a pen, but it's just a little spray, and... Uh, you know, it's like a dry shampoo that you can, um, 
keep with you in your bag or your suitcase or your travel if you just kind of need a little bump up. I think this is cheap too. I think it was almost like $3-ish around there. I can't quite remember. But anyway, it looks like this and it's called Bad Baby. And I thought that was like a, a really good, good little thing on the side. Um, with that Naked Honey palette, this was also another, it's an impulse buy. This is called Sweet Little Vices and it has four mini lip sticks that kind of go along with the palettes. They've got two for the Naked Honey palette, one for the Naked Cherry, and one for Naked Heat. And um, the the Honey palette, one is called California Honey, and it is a, like a real golden color that, you know, would go nicely over the top of something, or, you know, you can do it if you want it on its own. The next one is called um, Keep Tame, and that is like a nude like deeper nude bricky kind of nude color and if you look closely they've got little bees on the thing for that's the naked honey this one has a cherry and this one has has match sticks for the naked heat now naked cherry is the color that's called bing and it's like a, a pinky rose color and then finally red hot is the color for naked heat and that's a that's a red and reds are difficult for me i don't do so good with reds um, i need a lot of blue in my red tones because otherwise i don't know there's just something about red on me where i look like i'm uh, playing dress up with my mom's makeup. I, it just, I've never really had great success with the reds. So having said that, that's okay. Um, I just, I really loved the idea of the pairing those with the palettes and um, I love the honeybees on those other things. All right, here's another palette. This is Naked Too Faced. Oh, no, it's not Naked Too Faced. This is Too Faced Palm Springs Dreams. This is super cute. Um, it kind of reminds me of like a spring break palette, and they were like kind of billing it as like a girl's weekend away. They're just fun, celebratory colors. The palette's really cute. It looks like this. It says Palm Springs Dreams, and it looks like a little hotel, one of those retro hotels that they've got in Palm Springs. So here's the doors and the outside of the hotel and they've got their little um, peaches, you know, even the door handles are like their little um, logo that they have of their peach line. It's so cute. And when uh, you open this up, the two little peaches are the kiss lock that opens the palette. And there's a nice generous mirror on there as you can see, but wow, look at those colors. Are they not pretty? That is like really, really great. Now the thing is, although this is like kind of billed as a mm, spring break or a girls trip or end of summer kind of thing, I think you can carry these colors into holiday if you really think about it. Look what you got going here. The one that's killer is this color here. That is called Swizzle Stick, I think. Yeah, and it's just so pretty. But there's like, you know, your other deep, uh, deeper brown transition. Even this blue is uh, quite a nice uh, color to play with. It reminds me of um, when they had blueberry in the cho milk chocolate bar, was it? Their chocolate palette too. And everybody was like, well, what do we do with this blueberry color? This one is a little bit different. It's a, it's not the same color that's being revamped. It's it's a little different, but you know you can really work that in with like this color here. That's called saucy and bossy. If you work those two together, really pretty. Anyway, I think this looks like a really fun palette. Again, there is the little booklet if you're just beside yourself and you don't know what to do. Um, they're showing you. They're giving you ideas um, all the time. Just ways to wear these colors and uh, a lot of fun. So anyway, I think that can carry us into the holidays for sure. Um, other than that, okay, I think that's pretty much what I wanted to show you. Um, if you had any questions or concerns or you wanna know specifics about any of this stuff we've gone through, just let me know. Um, so I would say, you know, if you are interested in luxury brands, Edward Bess is far and away the best. Um, there, you know, his blush extraordinaire, I would never be without that. I think I will wear that until I die. It's like the best blusher on the planet. And um, I'm always happy with his products. I've never had anything that I've been super, super disappointed in. So again, I'm not saying everybody should run out and spend that kind of money, but if you are curious and you're wondering, is it worth it, is it not? Is it worth it is really your call, but I don't think you would be disappointed because it's high quality, high end makeup, and um, you know, you just uh, it's you make your choice. So, 
Uh, anyway, I hope you'll subscribe and hit that button and the little bell next to it so that you're notified every time that there's a new upload. Thank you so much for joining me. I guess uh, next time we'll do maybe a, a look with uh, one of these palettes. If you had anything uh, specific that you wanted to see, just let me know down in the comments below. Uh, give it a thumbs up, so help me out and uh, maybe we can uh, grow our community a little more. It's little by little, we're getting uh, people coming in and uh, it'd be really nice if we shared and um, everybody kind of chimed in if they got a new palette or something that they would like to uh, try or have me try for you, let me know. Anyway, thank you for being here. We should probably do a giveaway pretty soon as well. And um, yeah, Universal Beauty is a place where everybody's welcome and uh, the more the merrier. So thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.